All right, we are in Yonkers, New York, a comic shop up here. I happen to be in the area, so I was gonna check it out, pick up some new books, and I will show you guys what I got too. And I have a little hole at the end. I'll show you what books I picked. Usually I get some new books. But they had a good uh, back issues in there. So I grabbed a couple of back issues on Batman's. So we'll check that out also. All right, let's go check out the spider's web. Wow, look at the curb appeal here. This looks fantastic. Look at the signage. Looks like it's brand new. It grabs your attention from the street. Very well done. And we are on Vietnam Veterans Way. Specialist E4, Peter Mitchell. A dedication here. And across the street, we have Empire City Yonkers Raceway. We are at the Spider's Web in Yonkers, New York, across the street from Empire City Casino, which is pretty famous. You want to spend all your money. And we have a motorcycle making noise playing a radio. Let's check it out. All right, let's go inside. Let's check it out. All right, very deceiving. This is very big inside here. And it's cool that you can see out, actually. But from outside, you can't see in. The uh, blurred uh, signage on the window, pretty cool. And look at all of these new books. Oh, this place is pretty big. Look at this. Nice size. And he's got some spin racks here. <coughs> right, got a little Vampirella. Look at all those dynamite. Uh, dynamite books are all sold out. It's empty. All right, I think I saw a little Grendel there. And then we have, uh, what is on these spin racks here? A little Justice League, Dead Man. Oh, cool, they're like little sets. You can buy sets of books. I guess like mini series are mostly on here. No Justice was really cool. That's a Scott Snyder, right? Wasn't that a Snyder book? That was really good. Oh, Finals. I should have grabbed that. Finals is on there. Oops. Oh, I missed it. You can hear the creaking of the uh, spin racks, right? Make it authentic. Annihilation is on here. Pretty cool. Alright, and then they have some uh, epic books here. And they have some... Oh, they have a lot of statues here. At the front, they have a bunch of uh, trade paperbacks and omnibus. I guess the uh, big sellers. They got the last avatar. Oh, Kingdom Come. Look at that Hawkman. That Hawkman statue of Kingdom Come. All right, they got a little display here. Pretty cool. So it's like they got a bunch of different kind of stuff here. They got Ra's al Ghul, Batman, right? Wonder Woman. A little kiss on the bottom, kiss statues. Hey, right, I got a lot of room here. All right, got some uh, Storm, Captain America, uh, Zombie there, Morbius. All right, this whole section here is all trade paperbacks and omnibus. So they have a nice, healthy stack of trades. They have a whole two rows there. All their back issues with DC and the other side was Marvel. And this whole row here is all manga. Look at this. All the manga trades coming out, all the new stuff. You got the uh, the big boss there. The president's desk in the back. All right, and then we have... Uh, a little flash. I like that flash symbol, right? All right, here's what I came in here for, right? This is getting great reviews. The uh, Tom Taylor uh, book. I think it's a miniseries. 12 issues. And we are on issue one. This is what? Dark Knight Steel? Alright, cool. Avengers. I haven't been following the Avengers at all. All those Avengers books. And uh, they got Kang the Conqueror is still going. Deep Beyond is still going, huh? That indie book? Crossover, a silver coin. Homesick Pilots is still going. Man, I stopped reading that. Uh, Texas Blood was there, right? 
All right, you want to go through these Marvel? This side's Marvel, the other side's DC. Maybe we'll skim. You want to skim some of these? Oh, here we go. This was like the last great Spider-Man run. It was the Ultimate Spider-Man? What was that, 2003 to uh, 2012? It was that Bendis run? This is a good run, man. The Ultimate Spider-Man? I think that was the last really good one, right, for Spidey? You got Ultimate X-Men in here. Pricing's good, too, huh? These are all like three or four dollars. All right, let's check out. Wait, won't you got some of the DC? Skim the Batman a little bit, maybe. Oh, look at this! Right in the front. Look at this! Batman the Mad Monk. I gotta grab this. Number one. I guess cover price too. Look at that beautiful cover. This is uh, Matt Wagner, right? The Grendel guy. Oh, look at this! They got a whole bunch of them. Batman Monster Men. Was it Dark Moon Rising? So that was with Hugo Strange, right? The uh, Hugo Strange in, uh, creates all these monsters. The uh, Monster Men and the um, other Batman. Uh, that's all in between Year One Batman Year One. And so it's early. They're uh, recontextualizing the early Batman stories. No justice. This is Snyder again, right? Number two. No justice League action. I got some cool books here, and they're all in good shape, and the pricing's pretty good. I like their uh, selection here. Justice League Dark, Suicide Squad, Red Lantern. Oh, look at this, Doc Savage, right in the front. Doc Savage, look at this. And what is his fortress? He is in the uh, Fortress of Solitude, right? That's his hideout. And, like, Superman copied it, right? Doc Savage, cool, man. He's like Indiana Jones, Superman, James Bond. He's, like, all wrapped up in one. Oh, Batman Beyond. Look at this. Batman Beyond Unlimited. This is a cool series. Should I grab these? The Batman Beyond is confusing. They had like six runs. I don't know if they have this one. The Batman Beyond Unlimited. I know I have the Batman Beyond Unlimited from the early aughts, but this looks like it's from uh, the teens, like 2012 or 13. Because they had an ad there for uh, the Dark Knight movie. Yeah, I always skim through the uh, Batmans, right? Check out what's in here. Look at that uh, trade dress. It's awesome, right? On the uh, Batman Dark Knight. All right, Batman Superman. All right, let me grab these books here. And then the front counter here, they're showcasing some comic books and some trades. Read Dangerously, Aftershock. It's a cool little uh, display, right? And here's their front counter here. They got Venom right there, waiting for us. And they have a Saga trade book. And let's see their wall. All right, pretty cool. Respectable wall, nothing crazy, but very good, right? Maniac, Maniac's on the wall already? That indie book? All right, let me grab these books. All right, let me show you what I got. We checked out at the store. I'll show you what I got here. Right, you guys know I picked this one. And I might as well, I, I chickened out, I got the first Venom. I don't know. I got the uh, Dark Knights of Steel, the Tom Taylor, one of 12. This is supposed to be awesome. So it's supposed to be medieval superheroes. They have the characteristics of the superheroes that we all know. Spider-Man, Superman, but it's medieval era. It's supposed to be awesome, it got great reviews. Venom on the left, I don't know. This is not Donny Cates, this is another, they're rebooting it. And they start at one again? Is that necessary, you think? And I couldn't find cover A, so I got the variant cover. Well, what are you going to do, right? I guess cover A sold out. This is a popular book. Venom 1. All right. I love that I saw this, man. Look at this. Look at that Batman Mad Monk. Number 2 and number 1. These covers are spectacular. Look at this. And this is uh, Matt Wagner, right? This is uh, the Grendel guy from uh, Kamiko. 
And uh, he did this run. Like I said, this was in between Batman Year One, the uh, Frank Miller story, when they were re rebooting or modernizing all the early stories. So this is around that era. He's, re he's remodernizing uh, all the early stories of Batman. And... Uh, even a cover swipe there, right? It's not that's not the Neil Adams before Neil Adams. Who did the first cover uh, swipe of the uh, Batman by the Castle with the monk? The monk is from a Gothic uh, book, isn't it? That was actually a Gothic uh, story uh, novel. The monk. All right, got Doc Savage and I got Batman Monster Man on the right. Dark Moon Rising. This is where Hugo Strange creates a bunch of monsters that Batman's gonna fight. So uh, he just uh, modernized those storylines in this book. I love the trade dress. Look at the artwork. All right, and we got the Doc Savage number one book. And that was really cool, man. That was on Millennium number Millennium Comics. All right, they gave out these magazines in the stores, which is really cool. And Saga is coming back, it looks like. So finally, after a, what, three-year hiatus, I guess Saga's coming back? Is it two years or three years? Wasn't a huge fan of Saga, but I'll check it out. And these are all the up-and-coming books to give you this little magazine when you go into your local LCS. Very cool. And we have uh, DC Vampires. DC vs. Vampires coming. A rain book. All right, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. Like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.